bienvenidos to my channel. Yo me llamo Kelly and this is Adventures in Spanish. And with the Rugby World Cup going on at the moment, especially the game between Argentina and Gales coming up on Saturday, the quarterfinal, I thought some of you might appreciate a video, a quick lesson on some key phrases and vocab all around el mundo del rugby. ¿Listo? ¡Vamos! Ok, so the first thing to learn when it comes to deportes in Espanol is that there are actually three different verbs that mean to play. The first one is the, a verb that we use when we're referring to playing a musical instrument and that is tocar. Obviously, we don't need that one when we're talking about el rugby. The other one is practicar. We do use this when we're talking about sports but only non-ball sport sports. <laughs> okay, that's the verb practicar, so we're not using that one. The one that we use when we're referring to any type of sport that involves a racket or a pelota is, of course, the verb jugar. Jugar. Very important rule for you there. So we don't use tocar, we don't use practicar, we use um, jugar. Bien. So if I want to refer to playing rugby, I say jugar el rugby. Bien. And notice that even though rugby is spelt the same as in English, it's pronounced differently, of course, because the letters of the Spanish in, um, alphabet are pronounced differently. So it's el rugby. Okay, muy bien. So there we go. First part of the lesson over. <laughs> And if I'm a supporter of rugby, I'm una hincha, una hincha. If I play rugby, I'm un jugador de rugby or una jugadora de rugby. And the matches, los partidos, los partidos, take place in el campo de rugby or la cancha de rugby. El campo or la cancha de rugby. Same things, yeah? Rugby pitch. Rugby pitch, rugby field. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of what happens <laughs> durante el juego de rugby while they are playing on el, la cancha or el campo. Okay, so the word for penalty in Espanol is el penalti. Penalti. A drop goal, el drop goal, el drop goal. A pass, we say el pase or pase. There are different words for tackle in Espanol, depending on which Spanish speaking country uh, you're in or you're from. Of course, my, uh, <laughs> my second home is Argentina. And so for me, the verb to tackle is taclear, taclear. So I might be shouting taclea, taclear. <laughs> the word for scrum in Espanol is la melee, la melee. And to try, uh, again, there's a couple of different words for a try in Espanol. You could call it an ensayo or in South America, we call it un try, un try. And a conversion is la conversión, la conversión. Okay, so what about the, um, what they wear, see? The, the, the t-shirt, the shirt is la camiseta, la camiseta. And the shorts are el short. But what about the protective clothing that's worn? So the word for a helmet um, or the, the protective um, head guard is el casco, el casco. And the mouth guard is el protector bucal, el protector bucal. Bien, so I've already told you the word for um, a ball in Espanol is pelota and una pelota de rugby, different of course to una pelota de football, okay? 
Perfecto. And on Saturday, el sábado, of course, es el cuarto final, cuarto final entre Argentina y Gales. Argentina y Gales. Vamos, Argentina. <laughs> and after that, we go through to the semifinal. Yeah? Semifinal. And then, of course, the final in Espanol is el final. El final. Well, whichever equipo, whichever team you are supporting, um, suerte, mucha suerte, enjoy the games, and bueno, hasta la próxima. Adiós.